okay, I'm out and about again. I'm currently in Down Patrick. It's quite blowy, so I hope the noise of the wind isn't too bad. And in the distance there we have uh, Down Cathedral. Um, where I am now is, this is going to take a wee bit of imagination. It's called The Mound of Down. And I'll walk across here and see if we can't show this because it's quite overgrown. This is another of our state care monuments, which is very good. I'm actually in the middle of a double ring, the highest point. I'll try and see if we can't visualise it. So, so I'm in the highest point down there. Just that lighter bit of grass is the middle one, and then there's another mound just between that row of trees, and then there's a marsh area between the that wetland over there and that row of trees. So we'll go down here a wee bit and across, and we've got a battle to tell you about. It's John de Courcy. Didn't know much about him until I came down here in a day out. Okay, uh, so this is the high point. And I don't know if you can sort of make it, so it goes into a dip and then up again in that row of trees and then down the other side. So John de Courcy, he's the chap. He, uh, I knew I recognised the name, but anyway, he came across from England and he was from a well-to-do family, so a, a bit of a knight in 11, let's just say 1177. And he came across and there wasn't much to do up here in the province of Ulster, as it was called at the time. So they were based down in Dublin and him together with 20 knights and about 300 soldiers decided they'd had enough of it in Dublin and they were off to make their fortune in Ulster. So he, a four day trip, arrived up here in Down Patrick and the local lord, he would have been up there in the where the church is and de Courcy with his blokes was down here and in between there was this marshy land going on the other side of well, there wasn't trees then, it was a mound. We'll talk about the mound of Down in a minute. So anyway, the Lord, the Lord from Down Patrick, or Down as it was, came down to see off De Courcy. Didn't quite work out that way, and De Courcy won the battle. Basically gave him a good thrashing, and then De Courcy became the king almost of East, East Ulster. So, that's how De Courcy became famous. So he was he was the man. In 1177, he took over the kingdom of East Ulster. Now this mound of Down has done lots and lots of excavations on it. Can't work out what it is. Now De Courcy didn't build it. I reckon it was probably here from oh historic times, prehistoric times. It would have been a mine. Now he definitely did build this inner mound up that I'm standing on, but it was here already, but that's not going too quick. Uh, now, of course you didn't live here as such, now there's a bit of lower ground between the two, I'm sure there's, there's been remnants of buildings and stuff found. So this is possibly prehistoric, because if, if this, the church up here, although it's been relatively new, there had been a religious site there for oh, hundreds and hundreds of years, basically from whenever uh, St. Patrick died, which was, I think was 466, I think. So there's always been a religious site there. And they reckon all these religious sites and mounds and burial mounds and stuff like that all lined up. So this lines up nicely with that site there. Heading over, quick scan around here. So the mound of Down then, despite all the previous, all the excavations that's been done on it, they really cannot decide definitively when it was first uh, constructed, but they're reckoning possibly prehistoric times initially and then uh, it was being, once it became a bit more inhabited around here and people took over and it became more strengthened. So this is the top of the mound, a bit of a bit of lower 
and then an outer mound, so a double mounded uh, structure called the Mound of Down, and it was strategic in John de Course's victory over the sitting Lord of Down at the time, and that was his sort of catapult into fame where he became ruler of the Kingdom of East Ulster. Nice spot, didn't know it was here. Uh, I'll turn about, do a few more. Hope that made sense. See you later.